Joe is there. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe is there. It's G.I. Joe against Cobra the enemy, fighting to save the day. He never gives up. He's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose? To defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. So how old are these bones, Doc? About 70 million years, give or take a few. I've never seen upper Cretaceous specimens like this before. The oil kept them from being fossilized. If you say so. A bone's a bone, as far as I can tell. What's that? Probably another government official looking for a bribe. Wild Weasel to Cobra Base, the bones are ours. I thought we paid everybody off! We did! Scatter, swine! He don't look like no government official to me. He must be a collector. They're desperate men. <laughs> Strange. A true collector would have taken the Deinonychus feet. They're much rarer. Plan A is complete. Uh, sorry about the jawbone, Governor. There are more where those came from. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in just a few moments, we will know whether we have accomplished a scientific miracle or squandered our investors' resources. <laughs> If this egg, cloned from a single cell of a garter snake, hatches, our project is a success. Signal from Roberts received. Proceed with plan B. Here it is, gentlemen. A perfect living reproduction of the original snake. That's I great. Like it. Congratulations, Dr. Massey. From Cobra! <laughs> get is, why is Cobra stealing dinosaur bones and old scientists? Maybe everyone else is too tough for them. The two raids must be connected. They are. Intelligence believes that Cobra has a base in the South Pacific where they plan to clone dinosaurs. <laughs> That's impossible. Cobra has an irritating habit of doing the impossible. So what if they clone the bone? It'll be 30 years before the dinos grow up, and we'll be retired by then. Wrong! Dr. Massey has also made significant breakthroughs on a rapid growth catalyst. Now you mind repeating that in English? Sure. The dinosaur clones will grow to full size less than 24 hours after hatching. Whoa. Instant monster. We've got to find Dr. Massey before his dinosaurs find us. Deep Six to headquarters. Flint here. I spotted something weird, an island that's not on the map. Impossible. The entire Earth's been mapped. Well, something's wrong. Either my eyes or their map. Uh-oh. I got company. Cobra Rattler. We'll be out there with Sky Strikers before you can see. Roger and out. It was once ruled by reptiles. Soon it will be again. This time by reptiles known as Cobra. Look about you and savor the beauty, Destro. I see no beauty in this bug-infested swamp. Nor do I see any wisdom in your plan. 
You will, Destro. Very soon. Thanks to a few items. We picked up, namely... These dinosaur bones. And one slightly used scientific genius... In, in a, a disposable, disposable container. container. <laughs> Each bone fragment has enough cells to clone an infinite number of living dinosaurs. Therefore, I suggest you begin now. Infinity is a very big number. According to Deep Six, the island is just ahead. He said it looked weird, so this must be the place. Uh, it seems we have uninvited guests. Look for an open spot to land. Turn after these messages. Now back to G.I. Joe. So did I. What now? We carry on. <sighs> Flint! Anybody got an aspirin? No survivors here. Let's check the other wrecks. Two ways about it. We've got to call in an airstrike. How loud can you yell? Plenty loud. Good, because we don't have a radio. She's right. We'll have to take out the fortress on our own. Good. I was afraid we wouldn't have anything to do today. Yes. Well, uh, I have injected the genetic material into the eggs along with ultra-growth protein and... Uh, Doctor, look! Uh, such creatures have not been seen on Earth for millions of years! I'm so hungry, even our food packets are looking good. Don't eat, gung -ho. We've got to conserve food. Who knows how long we'll be here. Great. Next you'll be telling me we can't sleep. Well, if you want to bunk out in this oozing swamp, be my guest. All right, but I've got some primal urges to satisfy, and the top two on my list are food and shelter. What are you complaining about, Gung Ho? I thought this place would remind you of home. It does. Now you know why I left. As usual, your plans are useless without the addition of my genius. Controlling such primitive brains hardly requires genius, Destro. Then perhaps you would like to take over this phase of the project, my dear Commander. No, Destro. I would not deprive you of your brief moment of glory. My triumph shall come soon enough. I wonder if they know we're here. Not unless the rumblings of my stomach have given us away. I don't even know where we are. 
How do we know we're not going around in circles? We don't. Well, I'll be. If that isn't the luck of the Irish. Yeah, but I'm not Irish. And that place definitely is not kosher. What's that? Let's pretend it's the wind. All right, you overgrown iguanas. Let's move it. Your crimson guardsmen are either incredibly brave or incredibly stupid, Destra. Fear neither. They just have an unusual idea of, of how, how to, to have, have a, a good, good time. time. If these dinosaurs under my command, I will control them. Save the pompous chatter for later, Commander. I must concentrate. Their brains must be made receptive to control. There, now you may use the cybernetic control disc. It works! If Cobra's got Dr. Massey in there, I hope he's not about to become a dinosaur dinner. Dinner? He'd only be an appetizer. Could we stop talking about food, please? It seems the intruders are somewhat more alive than we thought. Then release the dinosaurs. But, but you must feed them first. Feed them? <laughs> that is exactly what I plan to do! <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to climb this rock to get to those cobra clods. What's going on? G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. You think that gun's gonna do any good? I'll try anything once. Great, now you've made him angry. That's too bad. I bet he's a real charmer on good days. This character, I grew up wrestling gators. Uh, uh, would you believe chameleons? It's the one called Gum Ho Dinosaur. Attack and destroy him. Come on, at least act like it hurts. We're stupid. They just don't make them like they used to. Somebody's watching us on TV. Yeah, well, the show's over. We lost them. How can I direct the dinosaurs if I can't see where they are? That did the trick. Somebody must be guiding them. I wonder who that might be. We'll have to use the dinosaur's instincts. Perhaps that will help us understand why they became extinct. <laughs> you will see, Destro. What's this? You are wasting company time. You should be tracking the Joes in case the dinosaurs fail. How about after our break, Destro? We're union, you know. Move it now! Yes, yes. right away, sir. In there! <laughs> For 
gosh, I'm glad they're so big. Looks like the dinosaurs are doing the job for us. I didn't know they made little ones. Dig G.I. Joe meat. He's looking for something to eat. He wants the food packet. <sighs> Looks like I'm not the only one with primal urges. Those urges might just get us out of here. Scarlet, what are you doing? Chow down, fellas. Here's your dinner. Watch it. You're going to be their dinner. No way. Given their choice, animals always go for real food. Humans taste terrible. Well, that's good to hear. Go fetch, boys! Uh, that's a strange looking weapon. Retreat! Retreat! Two birds with one stone. Let's see what Cobra left behind. Yeah, this should come in real handy. Your mind control device has failed, Destro. No mind control device can override the need for food. He's right, sir. Then perhaps I should feed both of you to them. <laughs> you two grab Dr. Massey. I'll prepare a little surprise for Cobra. You got it. Dinosaurs! Destroy the G.I. Joes! No! No! I won't let this go any further! Quiet, Doctor, before I remember that your usefulness is nearly at an end! should be feasting on the Joes by now. Yo, Joe! Terminate them! Get the commander's disc! <laughs> Give me! Off me, moron! Give me the What would you have done if you had gotten the disc? You could never have used the dinosaurs to attack us. This fortress is impregnable from below. Well, we didn't figure on bringing the dinosaurs to the fortress. We figured on bringing the fortress to the dinosaurs.
Astro, mind if we hitch a ride? <laughs> I think they've got the right idea. For once, I agree. Who was it said they don't eat humans? Everybody okay? Oh, all right, I guess. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, fine. Okay, Commander, you're coming with us. Commander? Must have slithered into a hole somewhere. Well, what are we gonna do with these dinosaurs? Perhaps we could open a museum. My investors... ...can suck eggs as far as I'm concerned. The dinosaurs are staying and we're leaving. Unless, of course, you want to stick around. Any questions? Yeah! Where's the grub? Over there. But you may have to share some with your friends. Move over, boys! I'm famished! G.I. Joe will return after these messages.